Hey guys, Sal here, and welcome back to some more Fate Grand Order. There's seven days left until the event is over. I haven't recorded a dang thing of FGO, even though I really should have. Especially Lost Belt 3. But I mean, the event should be almost over now, right? So technically speaking, I'll be actually uploading this before all the rest of Lost Spell 3. I guess. But I figured, hey, we have a ticket. Why the hell not? I'm not expecting anything. I said, I'm not expecting anything. God damn it. I was really hoping that that would pop up a golden lancer. Or, you know, a ruler for another copy of Martha. Or another copy of an event craft essence for, to, you know, help me out a little bit. This game hates me. I don't know wh what it is of late, but this game absolutely hates me. The only four star I've seen was Nezha and the Casta of Midrash. That's that that's 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 not right, right? Casta Midrash was Sheba, right? I think. Oh my god. Okay. Where are you? The cast I'm thinking of. Sexy. Profile. Unlocks that bond one after true name revelation. Clear curse of the Ardigo. Well, yeah. It was sexy that I forgot about last time d d when I got Nessa. So yeah, two four stars, nothing else. I was hoping for one Christmas miracle. Obviously that didn't happen. So now this is gonna be one crappy Christmas. But hey, we get the, the Samba Santa, so. Everything's good, right? This is gonna be weird seeing Quetzalcoatl as a Santa. <laughs> ho ho ho! It's me, Santa. I was all set to deliver presents to good boys and girls with my trusty sheep, Zerko, again. But apparently no Santa can keep the job two years in a row, no matter how good they may be at it. No kidding. But even if there will be no more Santa Alter, Altera, there will always be a Santa this year. I think it should be you who takes up the mantle. Oh ho ho, if you ask me to give you a reason for that, I would say it's because you and I are somewhat similar. I just have that sense that we share similar roots. Call it an Altera hunch. Via beyond, I have heard of this being who jo brings joy to all years. As the goddess of prosperity, it would be my pleasure to accept this honorable job, yes. Hang on, you say you are a goddess, as in deity. Will this be a sign of me approving of Western values if I appoint her the next Santa? Well, I suppose gifts of raw liver would still count as presents. <laughs> what happened to your Christmas spirit? No one needs to get liver. Yep, this should be fine. I think I... I mean, life is all about trying new things and taking opportunities as they arise. And Christmas should be no different. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Besides, one of the great things about Caldea is that everyone gets a chance at being Santa, no matter who they might be. Okay, now that I have completed my completely perfect explanation, go ahead and take the Christmas Grail. 
That's a thing. Uh, what's this now? It's a one of a kind super item. I can bring to life all manner of fluffy, wonderful Christmassy things. Don't ask me how I acquired it. I just looked down one day and there it was in my hand. Well, I don't know what it's all that's all about, but it sounds lovely, yes. Alright then, don't mind if I Oh my god, she's evolving! Quetzalcoatl evolves too! Oh my, this is. Well, well, you there, the two A bankers. What's the weird signal we just detected from here? I'll admit that this didn't qu go quite as I thought. But never mind that, the important thing is that a new Santa has been born. Take a look, this is this year's all new Santa. Ole! Now I am the perfect one to spread happiness and joy everywhere. I should start dancing now, no? Let's try this and some of this. Mm, yes, yes, this should bring joy to all. And since it's about so much exercise, it should help me train my core for luchas. It's a cartoon. See? It's a samba. Topek home giro. I have no clue what I'm saying, if I'm even saying it right. <laughs> Whoops, I guess I must have misheard you. It's alright, these things happen. Now what do I do? My spirit origin has stabilized, so I can't change it again, no. But then again, maybe I had own top two. Who says I can't dance and deliver presents at the same time? In fact, I bet that would make everyone even happier. Esto no es un problema. True. Santa is more of a state of mind in a specific form. Changing up a letter or two shouldn't really make any difference. In fact, for all we know, Santa and Samba might even have the same etymology. What do you think, Da Vinci? No, no, they do not. Still, I can't imagine a divine spirit of Quetzalcoatl's caliber buying into a different religion's customs. So I can't say I'm shocked in that her interpretation of this is so, um, unique. That's not really why I'm here, though, about the signal I mentioned. I have to say, it seemed way stronger than anything that going into a Samba mode should generate. Any idea what may have caused it? Oh yeah, you two definitely have more than an idea. What happened? Come on out with it. Uh, allow me. Uh, I saw the whole tragedy unfold from the beginning. Who am I to ask? Uh, I'm Zerko. Uh, <laughs> he looked at his people. <laughs> Basically, Quetzalcoatl and the Christmas Grail were an exceptionally bad fit for each other. Their myths were mismatched and myth met, if you will. No low Antinian. Oh, good God. Hello, Antiando. Pero what an observant little sheep, yes. I did not think there was no problem with the grail, no. Not after I changed from like this. But I will admit I was a little surprised by all the backlash. Backlash? See, to put it simply, it feels like my power has been split in two, as from where the other half could have gone. No say. I didn't see a light flying off into the sunset earlier. I think that must have been Santa. Also, I don't know if it's with the other half or not, but I think the Christmas grail disappeared somewhere too. Oh no, Lo Siento. I can't believe I lost it right after you gave it to me. But if you think about it, Santa is all about giving presents and not getting them, yes. Speaking of which, I forgot to go to my Christmas team. Whoopsie. So it feels wrong for me to receive such a grand gift. Especially since I have already obtained more than enough power to become Santa. So I'm not going to worry about the rest of the Holy Grail power going off on its own, no. At point, power is yours to do with as you wish. As long as Christmas is peaceful, I'm happy. I'm a happy Santa. 
See, I might be half the goddess I once was, but I still shouldn't have any problem performing my duties as Santa. In fact, I think the part of me that flew off was the part that likes things a bit rough and tumble, yes. Oh boy. So I think the peace-loving part of me should be able to handle being Santa just fine. Hmm, now that I like more closely, I can see she's a ruler. Oh crap, Santa's a ruler this time? I didn't, I didn't remember that happening. Is that because the side of her that got her people to stop making human sacrifices is stronger now? I'm sure the half that flew off will but come back on its own once Christmas is over and I'm back to normal. So don't you worry about a thing. I'm going to be the best Samba Santa there ever was, yes. Ho oh, ho ho. That's just what I like to hear. Very well then. I look forward to seeing you in action, Mary Sambamas. What? A massive sword of holy grail energy and a being of, as strong as Quetzalcoatl are after who knows where. Oh yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong here. I mean, nothing could go wrong just like how we're back in Caldea again. And you are a regular Da Vinci, yes? What's the requirements for doing this event? You have to clear Anastasia to be able to do this event. So why are we still in Caldea? Cause everything that transpired before then, uh, whatever man, we're always in Caldea because. Let's continue on. There's no battles anyway, so I don't need to change my team. I can't anyways, unless I go specifically there. It's Christmas season again, Senpai. Hello. Looks like this year Santa isn't wasting any time. This year, Santa's share has been keeping busy. Oh, they! Has the Samba rhythm got you yet? Are you all nice and warmed up? Then let's get this peasant party started, yes. So flashy, it's refreshing. So potent, it's dangerous. From height atop the ring post, here comes the Avalon chair of presents. <coughs> She definitely has a unique way of hitting up presents, but at least nothing strange is going on. I think we might just have a normal Christmas in Caldea this year, relatively speaking. Don't say that, Marsh. A every time someone mentions something about it just being regular, it's, it's almost not. Hey guys, we gotta talk. Can you swing by the command room real quick and uh, bring the loot door with you too? And here we go. Come on, Mosh. <laughs> what I just say? <laughs> so that's what's been going on in le time leading up to Christmas this year with me so far. So that's what the Samba thing was about. I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> oh no, I'm so impressed. I guess even goddesses can make mistakes just like mortals. Now we get to the real problem. We found out where the other half of your power in the Christmas Grail went. Oh, Papa, I wasn't ex exactly worried about it, no, but knowing is always better. So where did they go then? To your home, Mexico. Last week, in fact, they went b while Christmas preparations were still underway. Oh, I'm not sure what you mean. You'll understand when you get there. Trust me, it's not your everyday Christmas prep. Something is clearly messed up there, and we definitely have to sort it out. We may even have a minute singularity on our hands. So basically, you want Senpai to go there and investigate as usual. Yeah, pretty much. But don't worry, you'll also have a capable ally helping you out again. Isn't that right, Quetzalcoatl? You don't mind helping to clean up this mess you made, do you? Of course not. Once I've collected the things I've dropped while I was changing, I'll be back to hand out to my peasants in no time. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's get this Samba Vaishif party started, yes? Oh boy. You know what would have made this Christmas better? Me actually getting Badamante. Or Eris Kegel. Shitonai. I'll stop. There's way more I could go on about. <laughs> A white Christmas in Mexico? 
Found you. Found you. What? I was aware that in some areas of Mexico, the temperature could get under freezing. But there shouldn't be anywhere staying that cold long enough to accumulate so much snowfall. And it doesn't look like fresh snow either. I suggest you use the winter clothes I packed for you, Master. You should find them at the bottom of your bag. Oh, don't worry, my current Mr. Code can handle it completely fine. And you wonder how I got that exactly? Oh, I don't know. Uh, certain things happened. I guess we're in an alternate pass where I still have my command code. Mr. Code. I heard Blackbeard grumbling about how there's nothing sadder than catching cold on Christmas, so I wanted to make sure you were prepared for anything. Of course, I made sure to pack a fluffy scarf for you to fall. A fall? Falling. <laughs> there's the first. Major abnormality then. I can't imagine that just happened on its own. Now, what about the people living there? Uh, I'm freezing. It's never been this cold before. So cold! But I haven't been this excited in ages. Now that is finally about to open, so who's your money on? The Mexican team, of course. I know that's the obvious choice, but there really is something about them that makes me feel stronger. They're like the sun god come to life. True, true. But the Russian team seemed pretty tough too, don't you think? I mean, as long as we're thinking in that direction, there's something frighteningly unpredictable about the Chinese team too. Very strange, yes. Even though this bizarre cold is bothering them, they seem more preoccupied with something else. Whatever is going on, the whole town seems abuzz with excitement, yes. Oh god. Are we gonna have lucha matches in this? Cause she is a luchadora after all. <laughs> Are we actually gonna have lucha matches? That'd be kind of fun. This goes to show that humans can adjust to almost anything. This weather should be unheard of there, but everyone's just as missing it as merely odd. Hmm, uh -huh. We just got a reading that looks like it might be related to the Holy Grail. I'll send you the coordinates right now, so stay on your guard and head on over there to see what you can find. You got it, yes. You know, my voice is for Quetzalcoatl and... Da Vinci is strikingly similar to where... <coughs> I tend to do one instead of the other. Even the jungle is covered in snow. It's kind of refreshing in a strange sort of way. You should be coming up on the target area pretty soon now. I think I see something. Is it a cage match? A pyramid. It could, it could be a temple or a sacrificial altar. I wonder which it is. Huh? Who's there? There you are, my other half. I've been waiting for you. Oh. There's that mask. El Luchador. Are we actually gonna have a cage? Have a match? Okay, let's bring this waiver. Let's go to. Where's my Christmas team? Was it that close to the beginning? Yeah, it was. God dang it. Alright, so. I should have really kept this page up. Because I need to know, like, what the bonus servants are and whatnot for this event. Okay, this is my team. Let's go. I don't feel right about fighting a ruler. I need, I need, I need my other rulers as well, man. There you are, my other half. I've been waiting for you. Oh wow, can't. Oh wow, Ken is a salute daughter with the amazingly awesome mask. I might have to get her autograph, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> As if you don't already know, it's the other half of you that we were searching for. A phone. I suppose this is the best time to be joking. Isn't? Let me set my fighting spirit aside and do this properly. Ahem. <clears throat> All on my other half. I'm here to take you home. I can see you must have split off from me after my spirit toys became more Santa-y. 
Pedro, you need to come back to me. Uh, me? What are you doing here anyway? You saw the town for yourself, isn't it obvious? I'm getting things ready. Huh? Ready for what? To create the true Santa Claus, what else? This ritual relies on the Christmas Grail's power. Whoever wins will become the true Santa. Behold. I plan to hold a competition that will decide the true Santa. The International Santa Tag Team Tournament. It is a ring. <laughs> I knew it. That's no altar, it's a ring! Gah, what's wrong with me? Nothing about this makes sense, but I can't help wanting to go along with it. I'm Kensal Koto. Oh, I see. I only mean it that if nothing else, I can tell she has a great deal of love for Lucha. This really isn't time to be admiring that. These readings make it pretty clear that she's got the Holy Grail under control. We can't let her keep it. Master Ketsukoto, please, you have to stop her. If you want to stop me, you're very welcome to try. But I'll warn you now, Master Caldea. In my other half, you'll be wasting your time. I am Black Ketsel Masko. I am the strongest Ruda to ever live. I am the monarch of who will reign over the greatest show in the world, Christmas. Those of you who have never so much stepped into the ring will be down and out before the ref can count to three. Oh boy, she has a break bar. Well, at least we probably only have to take a break bar that one. Now, whether or not I can do that in one go, I highly doubt that. We're not near water either, so this gonna suck. Right? Technically, she should be divine, right? Well, this should do a decent amount. She doesn't have any buffs either, so it should be totally fine, right? And her defense is down. Oh, crit! Jesus, Martha! I really wish I got another copy of you, but I didn't. Well, that's this battle done and over with. Unless she, you know, doesn't go goes past it. <laughs> down and out in two turns. Man, she really needs to brush up on her skills. Huh? She's strong. We fight the same person? I am you, and I am the sign of you that embraces fighting in all forms. And like I said in my smack talk bit, you can't touch me. Ah, Entiendo. Entiendo. I have no clue. So that's why you chose a tournament as a format for, for this ritual. <laughs> it would be so easy to just kill you both now, but you're in luck. I thought you might show up, so I kept the special seeds that. Seed slot open for you, so you could skip the prelims. You can take it and try to make your way through the tournament. I will fight for Mexico, claro. If you're lucky, we can settle this in the finals. Which will is often didn't have the effect of bringing two vastly different forces together, like humans in nature, or gods and humans in this case. Fighting while bound by the same rules should help get the di around the difference in strength, but... Um, can I ask you a question? Why do you suggest some something that works to our advantage? <laughs> I may be a Ruda, but I'm not a cheater. No, the ring is holy and its rule is absolute. Perhaps my respect for such things is even why the Spirit Origin was designated to the ruler. Furthermore, this battle is meant to celebrate Christmas. The more excited it is, the better for everyone. Hmm. Upon it or not, I can't argue with that. There's no point in putting on a show without waking up the crowd now. 
show stuff aside. I don't see you guys being able to win right now anyway. I, I, whatever. At this point, I think making a strategic retreat, entering this tournament, climbing the ranks, and eventually picks off against Dark Kitzel Mask in the ring might be our only realistic o option. You should listen to the Chica and tell you Shante. Why, thank you. But you'll have to forgive me if I'm not entirely buying what you're selling here. It's a bit hard to believe you're using the Holy Grail's power out of the goodness of your heart. And since we can't allow you to get away with whatever you're planning, entering the tournament is just the most expedi expedient way to stop you. Oh, don't doubt me. I meant everything I said. This battle will decide Santa's rightful successor. The winner will become Santa. As Santa is so powerful, they'll be able to make every day Christmas, whether it's December 25th or not. And leave every other Santa as nothing more than a distant memory. I don't know what that means, but it sounds... big. As a Santa sprint, I'm sure you want his power for yourself. Now go on, the tournament begins tomorrow. Show me you meet the minimum qualifications to enter and I'll permit you to do as so as Caldea's team. Go ahead and do your worst. <laughs> I knew it would be a tournament match. I knew it. This is a very unexpected twist, yes. But getting the fight by the rules of Lucha is the best way I've had news I've had all day. As long as I'm in my precious Lucha ring, I can pile drive that master goddess into the match any day of the week, yes. Pedal, I still have no idea what she was talking about. She's very bad at explaining things. She said something about qualifications, yes. Why would she tell us to qualify after she personally invited us to enter the tournament? It makes no sense. Now that you mention it, that does seem strange. Yeah, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, foul. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think I might know what she meant. She gave us a hint earlier. What did she mean by minimum qualifications? Are you saying you figured it out? Yes, Black Kettle Mask actually said it quite clearly. This tournament is a tag team competition. Which means you need to find a partner who will step into the ring with you. Oh god. I mean, there's no way I can step into the ring. I would die. Right? Punches, we see the. I definitely said that wrong. I know I for one hundred percent said that wrong. Christmas of twenty twenty, Samba night, holy night, a snowy wounds in the girl night. Well, there she is. There's my ruler. And I'm gonna have to level up for this. ちょっと勘違いしちゃったけど、サンバを踊りながらプレゼントを配るのも楽しそうでしょ。サンタでサンバ、一粒で二度美味しいとはこのことよ。任せてました。正しいクリスマスを取り戻すため、目いっぱい頑張っちゃうから。I mean, hey, at least she is, I think, 50% damage increase for this event. Oh, she's 150, Jesus. Bradamante would have been 100. Regular Quetzalcoatl is 100. Martha and Martha Cri Summer is 100. So if anything, I have three out of the four servants for 100% extra damage in this event. If I would have had Bartamante, I would have had basically a full team of at least 100% plus in terms of bonus damage. And 50% uh, bond point gain as well. Damn. Oh, hey, she buffs everyone. Just like her regular form. All right. Oh, no, this is a Christmas event, so I can't actually level her up all the way. I mean, I can at least get her to 40 and put her in the party. Yeah, Servant. 
Where is my Samba Santa? Did I pass her up? No, here she- Oh, hello, two times experience? What? She specifically gets two times? Oh, okay. So she's up to 28. 32. Let's see if she, uh, strikes it rich. I mean, going from level 1 to 32, that is a giant boost to her HP and her attack. Jesus. Now... Will I have enough to get her to 40? There we go. Now, what exactly are the items you need to get up? Of course, it's masks. Kukula... Kukulukan mask. Alright. Oh, boy. So... Is there another loot box type of situation in this event? The event reward screen will be unlocked after you complete Day Zero. Of course it will. Well, there's no battle, so let's go. Daisy will encounter with a knight in a base in a dense forest. I can't believe it. I never dreamed she would set up such a diabolical trap now. No matter how strong I am, I can't possibly fight an attack team match by myself. What's well, go against that would go against everything Lucha stands for, yes. Uh, where am I going to find a righteous Luchador or Luchadora who can fight by my side? I trust this goes without saying, but just in case, remember that having Master join you in the ring is not going to be an option. Sorry, I'm not in better shape. Sorry, I'm not better at pro wrestling. That's okay. I never actually drag. I could never actually drag you into a lucha ring, even if I wanted to. I still don't know what I'm going to do, though. Hmm. Did you hear that? It came from that tally. It looks like someone just collapsed. Oh, that pile of rags is twitching. Ugh. So hungry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not giving up now. I've been through much worse than this in my travels. Still, starvation might be a first for me. Who knew going so long without eating could do this to you? I'd like to say it's Musashi, but... I don't know. <sighs> now that you think about it, this might be the most humiliating thing that could happen to a knight. Let's go ahead and kill me now. Not that there's anyone around to actually do that for me. Ah, oh, man. I could really go for some bread right na about now. What? Oh, man, I must be even closer to death than I thought. Now I'm hallucinating a tiny animal that somehow reminds me of Lord Merlin. Ripping me on the nose to see if I'm alive. Wait, Lord Merlin? A foe! A foe! I, 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 I... Are you that one so swordsman of the round table? Ah, oh, crap. What the heck was your name? I, I, I cannot remember. I'm guessing you put it together already. Well, that's a servant of those rags. This particular servant appears on the verge of death, disappearing due to severe lack of magical energy. I don't think it's him. Is it? It's the 70 equ equivalent of dying in a ditch on the side of the road. So what are you going to do about it? Oh, it's killing me, man. What was his name? I think I can at least give them some bread. 
Well, since Fo went and confirmed they're still alive. <laughs> My master is so kind, yes. I love how you never hesitate to help someone in need. Better be here. I'll help you. Help you. Come on. Let's go get them and give, give, them, give them some water to Levantate. Oh, it's Badamante. Wait, Badamante? Lord Merlin? They have a connection? That's something I did not know. I uh, also wasn't thinking that, you know, Badamante would actually show up this early. I also didn't think that she was going to be her tag team partner. <sighs> Every time you'd think I'd be used to seeing the servant I rolled for and that I didn't get in one of these events. Uh, come on. There we go. She looks great. In every way, shape, and form. <sighs> huh? Are you awake now? Did you get enough to eat? Huh? I don't understand. What's going on? And why can't I still taste delicious wheat? Wait a minute. Did you guys save me or something? You could see that, yeah. Oh man, I knew it. I'm so sorry for the trouble. This is so embarrassing. Now you're just supposed to help others, not be helped. Oh, but they're my, where my man is. Thank you so much. It's okay. All we did was provide you with a few supplies. Although a little bit of water for nutrients, and a bit of magic energy for Master's Mr. Code has you back on your feet. We have plenty of supplies to spare, so please, don't worry about it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were such a beautiful woman beneath all those rags. Uh-huh, no kidding. Your shield is amazing, too. Like a burst of light is a shield in myself, I'd love to hear all about it. Hmm, your mage crit to see... Me, you're using me to to see and talk to me from far away. Does that mean you guys are mages? Not me. I am a servant who brings joy to everyone with dancing and present tears. A dancer servant? I didn't know those were a thing. You know, your outfit looks kind of familiar. Is that what's trendy right now? I guess I'm a mage technically. I knew it. Oh, I haven't heard many good things about mages. I guess you did save my life then again. A foe? Huh? Oh, wait, a sec. I knew that Dan would remind me of Lord Merlin. Oh, well, it smells kind of like him. In fact, it kind of sense Lord Merlin in you, too. Would you... Would you two happen to have some connection to him? Uh, you, you could say that. It's not like, you know, everyone else was summoning for Merlin. I decided to say, yeah, you know what, what the hell. I would do one key to shot ritual. Why the hell not? Everyone else was doing it. I get the dang fool. <laughs> He's been a great help. A majorly great help. But when I want a seven, I don't get them. But when I don't necessarily care about getting them, is when I get them. Hell, I wasn't necessarily really wanting Ishtar. I did want her, but I didn't really care enough to want her. And that's when she came home. The Sundari in her kicked in and thought, Oh, you don't want me? Well, I'm gonna come home. The opposite effect is happening there to Shkiko. I want her. And she don't want to come home for crap. <laughs> Especially probably because her sister's here. <laughs> well, I'm a ways off from living in the lap of luxury like him. I guess you could say we know each other. Great, I know I can trust you. I don't care for me just much. In fact, I kind of hate them, but Lord Merlin is another story. He's helped me out on my journey plenty of times. So you're a relative of Lord Merlin, huh? Great. You're not the first person like that to help me out of a jam. Alright, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Baradamante. As a loyal knight to the Kingdom of the Fungs, I travel the world fighting Fungs in the name of the true king. Baradamante of the Fungs. Does that mean you're one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne? So you've heard of us, yes? 
I sent his Imperial Majesty each out of me, and along some of my with Rinaldo. Astolfo's been a big help to me. I could have sworn I'd seen Charlemagne on the moon or somewhere. You know Astolfo, too. I apologize on his behalf if he's made <laughs> any trouble for you. <laughs> ah, he's fine. He's a good guy, really. He just doesn't always think things through or, um, ever. Hmm, so many questions, so a little time. Okay, let's start with this. Can you tell us how you got here? Or at least how you ended up covered in rags, almost dead in an alley. It's, um, kind of a humiliating story. Especially for a night. But since you did save my life, I suppose you deserve the truth. Okay, here's what happened. Flashback. Hmm, I've been summoned. I have no idea where this place is. Now what do I do? I don't see a spellcaster anywhere. Maybe I was summoned by some sort of relic or something. Hmm, what's that? Well, this treasure must be awfully powerful. Is this what called me here? I'm not sure, but I am sure there's only one thing to do when you find a powerful relic like this. You have to pray to it. Okay, uh, may there be peace on earth and happiness fall in God's name. And uh, speaking personally, this is the person I'm looking for, so... Uh. This holy grail goes only to the victor. I won't have anyone trying to steal it on my watch. Victor? But you do appear to be some sort of hero yourself. I, I, I'll settle for stripping you of your power. Under the circumstances, I could, should even be able to add it to the Christmas Grail. <laughs> if we are only going to humiliate me then. Kill you? No, I don't think so. I can't just reduce the number of fighters before the tournament starts. It shouldn't be a problem gathering more than enough, but better safe than sorry. A magical shield to be able to. Oh no, I'm too late. Uh, uh. <laughs> it will be me who becomes a true Santa, but I should at least give everyone else a chance at it. If you wish to take back your power, your only recourse is to enter the Santa Tag Team Tournament. <laughs> She's gone loco. And there you have it. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Now I see. So you're a victim of Black Kettle Mask, too. But I'm still a knight. So I want to see justice served. I don't know the meaning of the word give up. So I decided to take her advice into the tournament, get my power back, and rub it in her smug face. But then I found out you need a partner to participate. I try to explain the town, but since I don't know my way around this place, I haven't been having any luck. And eventually, magical power ran out, and you ended up collapsing in the alleyway we found you. I found. Such a kind gaze. You trying to cheer me up? A lord foe. You and your lord Melanie smell are so wonderful. Still, uh -huh. your timing couldn't be better, don't you agree, Sal? Talk about divine providence. Maybe Merlin really did have a hand in this. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, as a matter of fact, I've been examining you for a while now. A sexy yet flexible leotard, a blue and white color scheme that would stand out beautifully in the ring. In a papa. You said your name was Padaman. It's like you were born with a great ring name. Oh, you would be Nueve and Lusidora Perfecta, or rather a Technica and Olympia, to use the official terms. But wait, my name is Pararmante, not Pararman. Oh, really? No, well, no problem. I'll just have to come up with a ring name for you myself then, yes. I'll be using a ring name for myself as well. Besides, this is the homeland of the faith that worshipped me. 
So better if I don't go around to showing my face and use my true name here instead. Ta-da! And for my ring name, I'll go with Quetzal Mask, Restorer of Mystery. Bad ass! She's really not cut out for disguises or dissembling, is she? <laughs> huh? You were the one from the ruins? I thought to make each outfit. Now you're in for it. Wait, please. Look, the mask is a different color. You've got the wrong guide. Though she didn't even notice up till now. Well, that's okay. This is a good chance to explain why we're here. No kidding. So you want to see it's a tag team tournament, too? See, if Black Hats a Mask is going to be the ruder, then I'll be the Technica who will take her down. I was just looking out for a baby face he made to join me in the ring when you, we found you, yes. And as I said earlier, you would be perfect, will you be my partner, por favor? It doesn't look like I have any other choice. I don't care about being Santa, but I do need to win if I'm going to reclaim my nightly powers. And most importantly, I owe you guys my life. Alright then, on my honor is one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne. I'm Bronamante, bound to fight by your side as you tag team pilot to the very last. Alright, we got our tag team partner. I just wish she came home, god dang it. Every time it feels so bad when I don't get the servant. And then I see them in a dang event that I've rolled for them for. Speaking of which, there's Anastasia. <sighs> Alright, so Ruler is definitely up, in, up there in terms of damage. I mean, I should be fine with bringing her, right? Come on. 100%, 100%, 100%. I'll keep my level 80 Santa. My serious double X, I will be swapping you out. Boy, someone who is, yes, technically lower level than you, but... She also has the potential to do more damage than you, or equal to your damage. Speaking of which, hold on. Before we actually do that, though, I need to level up her skill. Yeah. If only Eat because up. it buffs everyone in the party. Okay. Oh, yeah. Forgot she was a ruler for a second there, so she uses three tokens. Good. Gems, not tokens. Don't know why I said that. Please don't actually cost like an arm and a leg. Good. I have a crap ton of these red ones as well. It's perfectly fine if you want them. Just be reasonable for your next items that you want. Oh, Jesus. Gold. <sighs> Alright, her skill's up to six. Four, four. Uh, yes, I'll take you to seven, dang it. Oh, no. No! She needs giant rings! No! How am I supposed to get MHX double MH double X up to freaking max if I use the ring here? Well, her ability is gonna stop at 7. Uh, what an God dang it, man. Oh, look. We can bring Bradamante as an ally. 100% damage increase. But I need myself a waiver. 150%, not bad. Let's use her as the leader. And l let's go. By the way, I mean, just well ask, you haven't seen Rukiano anywhere, have you? Who? In the legends of Charlemagne, Bradamante is generally depicted as pursuing her love for Ruggiero. 
They sorted out his enemies, but found love after fighting a duel, only for fate to tear them apart. Then she goes on to search for and fight for her lover, refusing to give up no matter the hardship she encounters. I remember that story well. It's a wonderful tale of bravery and adventure. It's a little embarrassing hearing you all saying it like that. But yes, that's pretty much what happened. Even though chasing after things is just in my nature, I can't help but try to look for them. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. You're the first servant we've met here. I don't think he's at Caldea either. Gotcha. Maybe he's just nowhere to be found anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up. But I'm being pressed off a cliff for getting trapped in a mage's illusions. I don't ever give up. I can still see justice down whether done whether Rugerio is here or not. So you can always count on me to do my very best manager. Uh-huh. If only you would have came home, then that would be really true. Manager. Alright, I almost forgot. Now that Barad Monte and I are a tag team, we share the same goal of winning the tournament. As for you, I told you her you were our trainer slash manager, who will help us with everything besides the fighting itself, yes. As a knight, I never forget to desire to those who support me in my adventures. In fact, I've also heard that you gave the order to help me when I was on the first disappearing. Your kindness reminds me of Lord Merlin. So, I have nothing but respect for you. If you have respect for me, why didn't you come home? It drives me insane when they mention stuff like this and I already pulled and didn't get. Foe, 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 foe. Damn, I've never heard anyone actually speak fondly of Merlin. <laughs> Not even a nice round table like him. Honestly, I have to wonder was it really his spirit that helped Bartamonte out on her adventures? Huh? Did you sense someone doubting Lord Merlin? Oh, thank God, I don't have to try to whistle. <laughs> well, I guess this just goes to show how earnest she is. Makes sense, given how her things is, thing is being in love. How much longer until we're there? It feels like we've been walking a long time now, no? Of course, the warrior herself has come. Well, I'm gonna say, alright. Would you just shush for me, Mel, and let me lead the way? I mean, it's not easy in charting routes to keep all the different teams from running into each other, you know. In fact, it really wets my fur being caught between a good cuckoo and a bad cuckoo like this. Even if I did already decide to side with the dark, scary cuckoo, and she got to me first, and I really, really don't want to make her mad. I see. It sounds like you've had to have her to Jaguar. Okay then, as soon as we get to our side gym, I'll pay you back by practicing my plonker on you. You'll be a perfect sakura for Iso. To try out the spirit to origin's new noble fair, I mean lose the technique. Well well, it's like you've all day a cuckoo. I just want to administer your team here, remember? This cat cool cat's gonna ca take care of all the other fighters. So you keep your toe beans to yourself, you hear? And seriously, stop using me as your emotional and physical punching bag. Hmm, Claro. That just means I'll have to dance the samba right on top of you, yes. Now feel this in sh censoring rhythm as it speaks directly to your conscience. Wait, up? I honestly can't take it, man. Why, you're the only one who gets to be a different class. I feel I should ask you why you are all going to... I feel I should ask why you are going to all this trouble to keep different teams from running into each other. Oh, that. That cuckoo said it was to keep the match as fair and possible. That's why we're keeping the fighters in foe top secret, even from the other fighters, we're also keeping the brackets all hush hush meow. Otherwise, the matches might be decided by whoever has the most intel, rather than who's really the strongest will. I see. I should have known my other half would be so thorough. Of course, that isn't stopping the town's people from trading rumors and placing bets. That's not my domain, so... 
Anyway, we'll provide as fair of any as possible. And all you players have to do is give it your all. That's why you're giving us all our own gems out here in the jungle. And again, Knight, I must commend your chivalry in this. Right, it's not just a gym. This whole jungle is great for training, too, the reason being. <sighs> it's shocked for monsters like these. There shouldn't be anything like these creases in modern Mexican jungles. Black Castle Mask and the Christmas Grail must have put them here. Just like the snow, at any rate, they can't let them run around doing whatever they please. This will be a good preliminary skirmish. This should be a good warm up. Correct, oh master. Let me just put my mask on to get in character. Well, partner, are you ready? Don't worry, these are weak. We can cover our way through them as easily as dancing a samba, yes. Right, thanks to Sally, got a good amount of magical energy back, too. Let's go, Kettle Mask. I'll show you firsthand how brightly my magical shield of justice shines. Battle 1 of 3. Christmas hey, I haven't seen the reindeer man, men for a long time. So how much damage can she do with 150% at level 40? I figured she did just about as much as someone else would. As MHXX would have, I believe. It might have been a little bit less. But either way, it's still fine. And as long as we can get her masks fast. Ish. We can get her a higher level and then she becomes even stronger. And stronger. So no one can stand her might any longer. I will say she looks nice though. As much as a. Uh... I, don't, I don't know. She looks good. Wait, did, did she just ride a pterodactyl to drop presents? Did I just see that? Or was I seeing things? Also, you're an air we one, right? Yeah. Well, just defense for now. Uh, actually... Let's do your noble phantasm. I want to see what it is just in case she gets taken out. Oh, this noble phantasm can stay. Yeah. Buff you up as high as you can go. So, do this on the, this one. And do this. Then this. Then that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is the freaking announcer for her noble phantasm. Okay. I I don't think I've ever seen anyone have an old phantasm quite like that. That was interesting to say the least. Alright, battle two gone. Battle three, what's here? Is it a single enemy? Uh, of course not. So this. Alright, Martha, I am solely believing in you and your power to take out Super Reindeer Man. Tarask. Actually, do that, that, and then that. I know Hanoma Fan hasn't drops down the defense, but just giving it a little bit more power. Over here! Hey, nice crit! That's right, you still can't damage our crap. Never mind. Alright, Amartha, I'm hoping you can take out B or at least bring very close to the, the B. 
Oh, yeah, that's very close to the feet of it. At least these guys are also casters. I mean, it didn't really matter if they were caster or anything else. Everything is weak to a ruler. Well, every, everyone's damage is weak to a ruler. Except for Avenger. And I think another class that I cannot currently remember right now. Bye bye! Hey, nice crit. G? G. D dumbbells. Mucha dumbbell, sorry. Hola, wristband. And adios, Mike. Well, hopefully, I can, you know, pick up some more craft instances to help me get drops. I mean, I don't think you can. At least not in Gotcha anymore. Hopefully the event shop has some, or I'm s <laughs> kind of screwed. I just haven't used the ones I've got. Assemble all full hearty, aspiring Santas. The tournament host. No contenders shall be turned away. The path to becoming the true Santa is open to all. However, some rules must be set in place, lest everyone on Earth be swept up in a massive battle for Yael. And so I hope you will understand why I have chosen to limit the pool of applicants by their country of origin. In return, I promise that the sweetness of fighting for your homeland will make the battle all the more delicious. Teams from many countries, all with their own ambitions. Representing a mystery country. See, see, see. Once we become true Santa, Christmas will be ours to rule. Green. Representing a mystery country. Of course I'm going for this. I have to. Duty. Representing a mystery ocean. <laughs> Once we become Santa, we even we won't have any trouble scoring chicks. Yeah, as long as we never give up, we have a good chance of g becoming Santa as anyone. Dreams. Representing a mystery city. What do I think about Santa? Be need ask. Santa is a weapon. Power. We at the Santa Tag Team Tournament have censored this comment due to excessive brutality. We apologize for the inconvenience. <laughs> Pleasure. Don't worry, everyone I've seen here is so weak. No. Confusion. I'm confused as well. Etc. We can te tear our way through them as easily as dancing a samba, yes. Remember, regardless of your motives for becoming the true Santa, all are equal once he steps through these ropes. Now the ring has been set. Come forth, contenders, among contenders for the crown of Santa, and show us what you are made of. The 100 Team Santa t Tag Team Tournament begins now. What did I just watch? Can't say I saw that promo video coming. I'm Jaguar Warrior. What was that? A video. A bison to play it after showing each team to their gym base thinking round. It's a smart stylish way to get the fighters fired up in the loo of an opening ceremony. You should be glad you got to see it. We also had all the fighters wear disguises so they wouldn't spoil anything. I guess you could call them Mysterian Servants. Well, yes, but if you know what those places were, you could ultimately guess. Just like how I believe the last one was, I believe, Ozymandias and Isochris? Possibly? I could I could be remembering his place wrong, but I believe that was Ozzy, right? Though why Ozzy would want to become Santa, I'm not sure. So why was I the only one he didn't do that for? 
In fact, a whole section of the video was taken from the battle we had with those monsters just now. And I'm quite sure that you chose that only to make it look like I was tra talking trash, yes. I think I even saw confusion written on the screen right after. This is absolutely malicious editing. Yep, that footage was 100% percent fresh, right from the camera to the screen. Dark Cuckoo said to go ahead and use it since nobody would know who the mysterious masked woman was, so I did. This isn't my fault. Please don't sob on my conscience again. What about that part at the end where it said 100 teams would be competing? Is that true? She is. We're talking about a week long tournament where one team could end up fighting in up to seven matches. That's not even counting the four C teams Dark Cuckoo has waiting in the wings. They're kind of like the four heavenly kings and they're scary as hell, well. Oh, and for your information, there's no telling if any of the teams you saw in that video are the one of the special C teams. And there's also no guarantee that you'll be matched against one during the tournament. So, when's our first match? Let, let's see, you guys are in the special slides, so you pretty much got at least a whole day. Of course, the first round got the most fighters. That's gonna be really rough, I ain't kidding you. Don't be familiar as clones, the works. Anyway, I'll come get you right before you're up. So go ahead and spend your time however you like until then. In fact, go do what you want and like, not like it. The first match will be especially important, so we'll have to make sure we're ready for anything. Let's see, what do you want us to do? So, why don't you two spar in the ring to get used to each other's style? Might be good training to just keep fighting the creatures outside. Makes sense to me. Will do. I promise I'll do everything I can to get ready for a match. No objections here. Let's make sure we're in tip top shape for a match, but I'm on. Oh, could you just call me by my normal name when we're not in a match? It feels kind of weird otherwise. Eh, you'll get used to it. Burning Broadcast Deceit Doll. Well, hey, we got another three star craft essence. Not like it matters. Okay, so day one, con confronting the inevitable and silliness. Oh boy. So we need five belts in order to do Muscle Paradise. And that is an archer, level 90. But hey, we finished that so we get to see the shop. Is it actually... Yes, it's a lot of base system. So we can get her masks. Alright, so we can get her masks up to four. Her masks are her ascension materials. And the ticket, I'm assuming, is makes her permanent. So we need to go all the way up to five at least for a permanent Samba Santa. Kukul Khan mask, huh? Well... I've got a long day of grinding ahead. So, yeah. Wait. Oh my god. These battles literally are tag team. I can only fight with Samba Santa and Bradamante? Wait. Winner's Quest, please select one servant from your party and one support. Oh my god. It's literally a bro It's literally a freaking cage match of- Uh, uh- I- I actually need- Can only fight with two people. Oh, this is gonna be terrible! So, you know what? I'll show the first fight here and then the rest of them I will do on my own time and grind immensely at that and potentially get enough points to be able to get her ascension either maxed or almost maxed for a while.
Basic Training Bench Press. Oh, wait, what? Really? I'm fighting these guys again? Well, you can definitely say I wasn't expecting to be fighting the enemies in Salem. That's for sure. Alright. So do this, and hopefully take out Sister on a diet. Big Bo, who wants to bulk up? <laughs> I still can't tell if that's a pterodactyl or not. I believe it is. Yeah, nice crit. Okay, now I'll see you guys on the final fight. Oh, hello, Mr. Golden himself. Explosive sound cheering squad. That sounds like King Tokyo, right? It's damage up. Get your noble phantasm up as well. Do that. Because we're fighting undeads as well. I'll be a noble phantasm going against not an undead, but sure. Now, Yukata and Regalo didn't have fight Navidad. Turn on. Come on, announcer Jaguar Warrior. Oh, wait, no. That was a special one time thing? No, it's just a random occurrence. So what? Did I just got lucky with seeing Jaguar Warrior announcing her Noble Phantasm? Okay. Why did I do it in reverse? Eh, it doesn't matter. Still got the same result, but I don't know why I didn't do defense down with Martha's first and then Kotals. But whatever, it's fine. G. G. And that is now that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where we... We'll probably have either enough stuff to get her ascension all the way to max, or I might do her ascension just to help me be able to grind more, and then I'll show what she said in her ascension next in the next recording, just so I can actually you know have someone higher level to help fight. I mean, actually, this is just basic training, though. So I don't think I should be grinding until... Next time? Oh, crap. Well, either way, I'll see you guys in the next one, where... I may have at least done the basic trainings. And then I might... Do that. Or after I get the first freaking uh, item to get her to 60. Then I'll start the next recording. See ya, till then. See you guys later.